I'm Beverly Baldwin at the San Diego Cactus and Succulent Society show in June with ace shopper and collector Jeannie Meadow, a dear friend. So come along, let's explore. First key to shopping at the San Diego Cactus and Succulent Society is always bring a very small list of things you're looking for. So we have this list and then it got a little expanded. Oh, and then I accidentally made an even bigger list. And then of course, I can't stop there even more. So always bring a little list always make sure you mortgage your house before you get here <laughs> so let's hit it and as you can see it's very busy and you've got to be very careful and you've got to keep your eyes out on the way for something you absolutely may have to have I don't think we can even make it down that row. We're gonna to have to zigzag down this Guys, one. I couldn't carry this one with these. <laughs> and there is the Holy Grail. And oh, and did, remember I told you about the competition? They're here. Look at these beauties. My favorite, ah, uh, I just, I'm just dizzy. I'm lightheaded. I don't know. Oh, and here's the competition I was talking about earlier. She's already, of course, beat me over here and probably grabbed oh, a few no, things. No, no, no. Oh, yes, have, yes. This is Wanda. Pie, so I've already, uh, I've done my, my <laughs> and here's the man himself who makes all these gorgeous pots. Thank you. Yeah. Mark. It's a wonderful day to come and buy pottery. <laughs> I see a lot of different things. And uh, I, I have a collection of his pots where he uses fossils, and I have some larger pots, and this would just be a fantastic, you know, to accompany one of my larger pots. Now, it can be a little pricey. What's the price on that? This one is 75. Oh, okay. All right. But this pot will make any plant pop and it, it's just it's just something to talk about it's just beautiful so we're going to give this to my husband barry because you can't do this alone if you're going to do a good job and he will take it off and put it in the safe storage area okay you've got to be careful where you put things down because people try to shop from your stuff ah. yes and there's another pot i had my eye on and let's see where it went we're going to look for it here. Where's my special pot? Well, it's already been taken. I'll show it to no, you. No! It's not already taken. Don't break my heart. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, that's the one, the one I wanted earlier. Nope. Oh, it's down there. Oh, yes. We need, we need that. So... this one. Oh. Killer. Is that killer? Look at that. That's killer. Let's fight over it. Oh, it, it's gorgeous, yes. right? How much is it? I don't know. Oh, sorry. 95. Oh, well, you need it. You need it. Yeah. I need it. We need it. It's a need. That, that's, that's just special. the way he did that. Is, no, he's done some different things this time. A, a few different shapes. Oh, wait, not the one I'm getting. What are you getting? I'm waiting for him to give it to me. He, he is know? a master. He, oh, it, he is. Here comes my special oh, pot. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see this, but this just looks like it's some kind of an agate or like right off of a you know something you would see you know out in the desert just look at those colors and i already found a plant to go in here so thank you for your fine oh, work welcome. my gosh the plants I, wouldn't look the same without all your pots I, I love it when people like what i do she's still looking at that pot we're both looking at we're gonna we're gonna circle like sharks here. I'm gonna see if it's still here. <laughs> so should we go look at some other pots as well sure. while we're on the pot and hunt and then we'll look at the plants? There's all kinds of artistic things here. The show tends to be mostly, uh, you know, the pots and of course, uh, really it's about the plants, but there are vendors that come that do um, uh, artsy cactus things that are just adorable and uh, they s sell t-shirts and uh, things like that as well. And this year and last year, there's actually some vendors here selling rocks 
that's how rocks have uh, really grown in popularity uh, and understanding how they make designs look so great. Uh, so I can't believe how much people are selling rocks for. Anyway, let's head over and look at some more pots. gotten over to his Google. area over here yet but we will it's ceramics extraordinaire <laughs> uh. I just love the way that you uh, put designs into them but then also then you finish them off with a just a not you know not too shiny but just enough natural look around the pot well I think that the the plant should be the star the plant should be the star and the pot should help emphasize whatever the strength of that plant is a uh, pot like this is twenty dollars a very reasonably priced gorgeous uh, and beautiful colors and designs and he's got all different kinds here just beautiful I think you want that there's just, oh I'm sorry no 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 I meant I think you need that oh okay. look at that <laughs> we're just we're doing a video for the show oh okay. look at uh, yes look at the design what do you like it, about this it pot? reminds me of the mountains Grand Tetons Mountains. Very now, or you can go the ocean. Either way, mountains or ocean. Actually, like this would be perfect for my mother, and um, these are her colors. Wonderful. I think we'll take this. Okay. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you, Joe. You do beautiful work. <laughs> thank you. We're gonna take this one for you, Mom. <gasps> Jeannie, do you know Susan? I have Hi. met Susan before. I'm Jeannie Meadow. I don't know Hi. if you remember me. Hi, Jeannie. So you're just talking to my breast because that's where the microphone okay. is. Okay. But, but it's about texture, so it's about touching. Okay. And then I cut up everything, and then I put everything together, and then I texture everything. So it's kind of a labor of love. But I like the result. It's very organic. This is actually done in a gas uh, kiln, so you get the variation of color. So you see, some of it picked up is more oxidized. Than right, kind of organic, um, natural I call it looking. Lava. Oh, lava! Yes, my lava texture. And how much is something like this? Uh, this one is this 85. is eighty-five for that a gorgeous planter. Handmade piece of art, really. Piece of art. It's a exactly. piece of art. Everyone it wants it. It's one of my pieces, and it's very. You know, it's my style. It is. Everybody, so yeah. if they see this, they know you. Yes, yeah. they do, pretty much. Yeah. There's no question that's that's a Susan Ock. Yeah. yeah. I wake up sometimes and I have I just had this great idea and I want to start on something new and different. Um, yeah, it just depends, and that's the uh, great flexibility about being an artist. It's like a lot of experimenting. You know, um, not only the shape and size, but also I make all my own glazes, okay. so I can actually you know, there's a little bit of chemistry involved too and testing out different colors and how a chemical is going to you know, make a difference in how the texture of it is or the color. Uh, so it's really interesting. There's a lot involved. Jeannie, look at how she combined that plant that you just bought on the corner. Mm -hmm. And look how she top dressed it with the lava rocks just to speak to the, you know, this looks like the lava you would see in a flow, and then you've got the real lava yeah, rock, and there yeah. were only two when we bought them both. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> one for Deborah, one for me. Excellent. But But just look at that. Well, uh, Deborah actually is the one that inspired me to look at the plants and, and, and the relationship with the pot. And I remember when you first came over, I don't know, a couple of years ago, Deborah, it was like, you know, it was magic for me, first of all, having you come over to my house, uh, but also to demonstrate and, you know, show me how to really look at the whole picture. Thank you. You know, it means a lot. Oh, that's really yeah. sweet of you. Thank you. What would you put no, in that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not a succulent. <laughs> I didn't just say that. I think I I'd make it a bird feeder. You'd have to, you know, make it more shallow. Well, you could maybe find a nice little plastic oh, cup, like saucer, yeah, the ones for the bottom of plants, and yeah. just put that and then fill that. Yeah. The big ones are 75. Which one's your favorite? The green one. The green one. Yeah. Even a lizard got got in there, made his way. Is it a tax write-off for me, Jeannie? Absolutely, is a tax write-off. It was part of making this video. We're going to take a look at Don Hutt's pots. I have some of his. I love them. He always has a very nice variety, but you can see they're selling quickly. People are just grabbing them up. Um, and Jeannie, uh, when, when Wanda was here before, she wanted one of those hanging pots, and she oh, hesitated. She, she'll be back. <laughs> I guess he goes to the desert and gets the beads. Yes. These look, these look real. 
They don't feel yeah. plastic. Right. I think these are real turquoise. Where is Don? He should come here and tell us about the, what's the story behind these pots. I don't madness. Uh, madness. madness. I, I don't. Do you know what a you know what a, an addiction beads are? Yes. Beads are insanity. 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 And what's even worse is I get my beads from the Gem and Mineral Show in Tucson. Yes. They have airplane hangers of beads. We know. We've been oh, there. <laughs> I'm a shopaholic. I've been really, there. I call them naturalistic. Naturalistic. They're not natural. Yes. But they're like natural. Natural. Yes. Yes. I happen to like those very much. Now, sometimes when you are looking at pots next to someone, you see something they've purchased you have to ask about. And may I touch it? I am looking for this okay. plant. It is on my wish list. Well, you better get it because everyone is right. You pronounce it. Lucas and I have been wanting one of these, and it is actually on the list I showed you earlier. Join me at Jeannie's house for pairing some plants with some of these fantastic artist design pots. Jeannie? Oh, it's been a great time. We saw so many great people, so many great plants, uh, and so many great pots as well. Uh, a time of my life. I love it every year, and I like that it comes on my birthday weekend. Yeah. So I feel, Happy birthday, Jeannie. <laughs> so I always feel a lot less guilty about filling up the cart, but at least they take credit cards. So we're all set. So oh, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>